Everybody get up, it's time to jam now. We've got a real jam going down. Welcome to the Space Jam. Here's your chance to do your dance at the Space Jam. Alright. Yes, welcome back once again to Let's Continue to Play Global Defense Force. Our globe is certainly in need of some defense. This second invasion is really kicking it into high gear. To level 46 now, Mecha Valley. Let's go down to the valley. Yep, we're in Death Valley once again. And we got these rolling bastards coming at us! Now, the sensible thing to do in this level is to get the hell out of this gorge. I am not sensible, however, I am never sensible. Got the AS-19 with me once again. As an assault rifle, it cannot be beaten at the moment. It will be beaten eventually though. Oh crap, there's walkers. Yes, these rolling uh, pea bugs slash wood lice and new walkers. There are foes with the infantry band today. Also, as extensively pointed out in the thread, I am a liar. You can in fact shoot these walkers in the feet and in the legs pretty much anywhere you feel like and you will kill them it makes them much much more easy to deal with if you're so inclined you can equip a rapier and just uh, shoot at their feet until they fall down a good strategy unlike hanging around in the canyon with a load of rolling bastards they're all dead now though Three walkers left. I've got a grenade launcher with me today. I don't like grenade launchers, they're rubbish. There's literally nothing a grenade launcher can do that a rocket launcher can't do faster with more exciting action. Their arcs are annoying and fiddly. The non A coded variants. With the timers are useless. There's just no reason to use them. Why blow up something in five seconds' time when you can blow it up now? There is no answer to that question that can satisfy me. Anyway, I'd rather use a rocket launcher, but for the sake of variety, here's a grenade launcher. Launching its grenade. Detect I'm not actually using it at the moment, I'm shooting this thing in the foot. I think it was some guy in the thread who pointed out that this was what you could do. He had some numbers in his name. Thank you. Health's looking a little bit missing at the moment, but there are only two enemies left. I think we can wing it. You can see these walkers can handle these cliff faces, now even skipping a beat. You go anywhere, anywhere they choose to. I didn't like that bridge anyway. Only one more now. See if I can kill him with a grenade launcher, or will I just give up and shoot him with the assault rifle? Let's find out! Yep, I got the assault rifle out. I have no patience for grenade launchers. Oh, I got it back out again. Maybe I do have patience for grenade launchers. Maybe I secretly think it's the best weapon ever. I'm just lying to hide my grenade launcher lightning away. Anyway, funny dance and it's down! That was that level. 
as ever, I have another level to show you. Let's switch over to the pale wing trousers. And equip ourselves some lovely weapons. What am I using today? I cannot even remember. Ah, the Thunderbow 15. That certainly is a weapon that I'm using. And also the E4 Plasma Launcher. It's been a while since we had some of them. Read this thing. If you are so inclined. Here we are again in the ruined city, which we're ruining even more. Anyway, we gotta stop all these ants from getting to the non ruined portions of the city. I imagine are shrinking by the day. The two weapons I have equipped showing their duality of function. Blow them up from a distance and blow them up from less of a distance with the other one. That's good thinking. Anyway, it's been a while since you've seen a plasma launcher. This is the E4 Plasma Launcher, it is sponsored by Channel 4! We have the Thunderbow 15, like the Thunderbow 10, except he's got 15 lightning bolts, I'm not really sure how to call them, rays, lines, bullets. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Red ants. As ever, they take a bit of punishment and are huge. Not a lot of flying to be done in this level so far. Lots of electrocution though. That one got a cheap shot on me. Well, I'll leave to tell the tale, however. Okay, this level is in fact one of my least favourites. I say level, I should probably disambiguate what I mean there. I mean this environment, this setting. The ruined city, first of all it's really dull, it's flat, it's boring, there's not many explodable buildings. See the, where the uh, end of the level ends and the skybox begins. Also, ants like getting trapped on the other side of the level, so you have to walk for ages in order to get them. That was three separate red ants stuck on geometry. Also, as the uh, infantry man rolling around here is a bit problematic. All of these ruined buildings have little corners. I'm sure you've noticed in other levels I've been rolling around, I constantly get stuck in these little corners. Damn them! Anyhow, here we have the next wave. First one was red ants, here's some flying ants. Now, flying ants aren't much of a threat. They are quite possibly the most annoying and evasive enemy to hit. The Thunderbow 15 is fairly effective against them. A homing weapon would actually be useful here. However, I was not confident to bring one along knowing what the next wave of enemies will be. I'm sure the most pessimistic of you can guess what the next wave of enemies will be. I'll give you a hint. It's not Black Ant. But it is a type of Gigantor. Have you worked it out yet? As ever, there will be a prize for getting it right. There won't really be a prize. Feel free to pretend I've given you a prize though. I think that works out best for everybody in the long run. Anyway, flying around, get a better shot at these guys. Works fairly well until you run out of energy and then you're on the floor! 
Good thing I brought along the Thunderbow with its ammo capacity and didn't foolishly waste it all earlier. Really don't like black ants. Flying black ants. Oh, that was a nice shot, I like that. They just don't stand still. When you do finally damage them, they drop down to the floor. You have to stop aiming at the ones in the air and shoot them instead before they fly away again. One left. We can get on to the next wave. Here already, no time for sitting around. What could it possibly be? Pay attention to where I'm heading, it's a bit of a clue. Yes! Spiders! This is why I did not bring a homing weapon for the flying ants. You really need the Thunderbow and the plasma thing to effectively destroy them as quickly as possible. They must effectively be destroyed. I was planning on using a completely different plasma launch of this level, but it just turned out to be irredeemably rubbish. If you hang around after I've finished off these spiders, you'll get to have a little bit of a look at that. And also another slightly rubbish but also slightly useful weapon, I guess. Now, plot-wise, we've got spiders and ants coming at us, not dropped by the granny ship. So, presumably, that massive, big offensive underground was a waste of time, because there's still lots and lots of ants and spiders and stuff all over the shop. I don't know if we can ever actually get rid of them. But anyway, we're here again. It's probably the best level for showing off weapons and stuff simply because there's so many enemies very quickly. We have the two-way lance. A laser lance that fires two. Kind of handy I guess but given the laser, laser lance, the laser lance is main effectiveness is in its incredible accuracy. You lose a bit when you're firing two in a V-shaped pattern. That was the the plasma launcher. It has a 30 meter blast radius, I believe. I'm in the water, I'm going to be here for a while. Demonstrating that while you're in the water, these red ants can basically not do anything to you. They're stuck too low down and you're stuck too high up. Their mandibles cannot reach. Also, the pale wing has a swimming animation. How about that? Don't go in the water, you cannot fly out of it. Anyway, it has a really severe arc and it moves very slowly. It has a very wide range on it. The blast that is, and it blows you up. It's a bit of a silly weapon, that's why I went without it. That's it, bye.